India's economy is flying with growth of around 7% a year and Britain wants a bit of that. Narendra Modi is the first Indian Prime Minister to visit the UK for a decade. This the beginning of a three-day trip which is expected to deliver trade deals and agreements worth billions of pounds. Preparations at Parliament Square this morning for Mr Modi's first engagement, a meeting at Downing Street with the Prime Minister. Later he will make a speech in the House of Commons before the two Prime Ministers cross the square to pay their respects at the statue of Mahatma Gandhi, the man who led India to independence. But Mr Modi is not universally admired. Some have accused him of creating an authoritarian government that's suppressing freedom of religion and freedom of speech. We've been lectured by Mr. Cameron about British values of tolerance, of equality, of justice. Yet he's entertaining someone who do, does not believe in this. And it's absolutely hypocritical. In spite of all the pomp, this is not a state visit. Mr. Modi is India's prime minister, not its president. But it is important. The United Kingdom and India have strong historic and trade links. This trip is about reinforcing those and building on them. Later, Mr Modi will speak to business leaders in the city, underlining the focus of this trip, money and trade. We are still stuck at a level of around $18 billion, which is less than 2%, I think, uh, for both of us, of our global uh, trade. So obviously there is much more that can be done. Tomorrow, Mr Modi will have lunch with the Queen before heading to Wembley Stadium to speak to 60,000 people from the British Indian community in an evening event finished off with fireworks. He'll also visit businesses here like Jaguar Land Rover that are now Indian owned. A century ago, India was part of the British Empire. Now it's an economic powerhouse and this trip is about helping both countries turn a shared history into future prosperity. Ben Ando, BBC News.